Hello everyone, this is Kirti. In this video, we are going to build the React Pokemon app. Uh, we will discuss about hooks in React, how we can fetch the data from API and so on. Uh, this video really helpful for a beginner. So watch this video till the end. And if you are new user, then don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Before we start, let's see the output first. Here, let me refresh first. Here you can see the 20 Pokemons are loaded. 1 to 20 cards. When I click on any particular card, its information is shown at the right hand side, its image, then its ability, HP, attack, defense, speed. Uh, when uh, If I click on any particular Pokemon, its information uh, shown at the right hand side. And here now previous button is not visible right now because if there is no previous data available then previous button invisible when i click on the next button next 20 pokemons are loaded 21 to 40 and now previous button is visible if i click on previous button previous 20 pokemons are loaded 1 to 20 and if i click on next button we make a new request and next 20 pokemons are loaded 41 to 60 pokemons uh, let's start our actual coding part first we will create a react app using the following command i have already created we can use the npm or npx both are fine but it's recommended to use the npx because it's avoid installing the necessary packages so inside this src folder create one more folder components inside this components folder we keep all our components so first create a main component main.jsx then create car.jsx then create one more file for style style.css then create a one more component keep the first letter of component capital a pokeinfo.jsx then inside this main.jsx file first we import react from react then create a function const main parenthesis arrow function uh, we return react fragment wrap up all the element inside this react fragment then we export our component export default main then first we will complete our html and css part then we will save our api part then first due dot container inside this container we have the left content and right content so due dot left content and due dot right content then inside this left content we add our card component and inside this right content we add our poke info component so let's styling first then padding 0 margin 0 uh, add search for font uh, roboto select then select this font style and copy this paste here and then again copy this font family and paste it here then body background color hash of c e c8 then add a styling for container dot container width 90 margin auto padding top 100 pixel then display flex then for a left content and right content flex basis is 50% let's check the output but uh, before that we add our main component in app.js add our main component then uh, we need to import our main component here import style.css file we 
using the npm start we can run our application we can also use the yarn start both are fine here we can see the background color now in main component inside the left content we add our card component now let's start a coding for card first we import react from react create function card inside return react fragment then uh, import export card component create a div card pokemon id in h2 tag then pokemon image uh, inside this public we have the images folder and here we have the image charmander then add this image path here then uh, in h2 tag we have the pokemon name charmander then uh, here we import our card component in main component left styling for the card component width 300 pixel then background color then border radius 1 rank then box shadow padding top bottom 0 and left right 1.5 rem then display flex then align items center and justify content space between and box sizing border box now in left content in left content we add our all cards so make the display grid and grid template column repeat auto fit min max function 200 pixel and 0.5 fr grid gap 2rem now here you can see the card is display now add uh, more cards here card is display in grid layout now add a uh, poke info component in write content now inside the pokeinfo.jsx first we import react from react then create a function pokeinfo add a function return react fragment then we export our pokeinfo component export default pokeinfo now Inside this component contain the information about a Pokemon like a Pokemon name, then abilities, image. For the better understanding, I am writing this manually right now. When we start our API part, then we will fetch the data from API. Then inside this uh, H1 tag, Pokemon name. Then for images, first we see the Pokemon API. Now here you can see at the end of the URL we pass the pokemon name suppose we pass the charm under and click on submit button then we get the all the data about a charm under its abilities height weight then image url add an image tag for pokemon image now here uh, you can see inside this uh, spirit we have the other and inside this other we have the uh, dream world and we have the front default then uh, let's copy this url and paste it here now 
uh, create a due for abilities create another due group here you can see the abilities array which contain the two items inside this abilities array we have a ability object which contain the name and url so copy this group again for a second ability and copy this ability name solar power and paste it here now we create a div for a base state inside this now here we have this state array which contain the six items at 0 we have the HP 39 then at index 1 we have the attack 52 then we have the defense 43 like this and now we just copy and paste it here in H H3 tag HP 30 attack 52 defense 43 Special attack 50 speed. Now let's add a styling for this POC info component. First, add for styling for this write content dot write content inside width 50%. Then text align center color black. Then position fix from top 100 pixel and write 10 pixel then inside this uh, POC info we have the image add a styling for this image margin then here we haven't import our POC info inside the main component so import POC info component now it's visible now it's working now let's add a styling for abilities here uh, for h1 tag pokemon name add a styling text transform uppercase font weight bold letter spacing 1 pixel then Add a styling for this abilities. Abilities width 30%, then margin auto, display flex, justify content space around, align item center. Then margin top 1 rem. Let's check the output. Here we can see now this ability display in the row. Now for group, add a styling for the group background color. Now color white. Then padding 0.5 rem. Then font size. 12 pixel then border radius 8 pixel then now here you can see now add a styling for the um, base state margin top 2 rem now here we can see it looks nice then uh, Next we add two buttons, next and previous, 
in main component add two buttons create a new component btn group inside this add a button previous then button next add a styling for this btn group display flex then for button now add a styling for button outline none border none then width 150 pixel then padding top and bottom 0.3 rem and right and left 0 margin 1 rem font size 17 pixel then font weight bold then color white background color then border radius 8 pixel let's check the output here we can see it looks nice then if we add more card then here even if i scroll the page this right content position is fixed here you can see now we completed our html and css part now we start our api part first we install the axios so use this command npm install axios copy and paste it in our terminal and wait till this install after install we need to import import axios from axios then we use the use state to hold our pocket data so const pocket data set pocket data function equal to use state we are using the use state so it's necessary to import use state from react use state allow us to use the state variable in function component so in the parenthesis we pass the initial data uh, here i have passed the empty array so initially this pocket data contain the empty array and using this set pocket data function we can update the content of this pocket data now for the loading we create a use state const loading set loading function then initially we pass the loading true then for url const url function set url then uh, for this url uh, let's go to the pokey api here at the end of the url we pass the pokemon name and if i remove this and submit now we got the data count next previous and result here you can see result is basically the array which contain the 20 items name url let's copy this url and paste it now it's our initial url use effect now we are using the use effect so we need to import use effect from react now this uh, basically execute always execute whenever the our application render if we passes the empty array as a second argument that means it runs only once when the page is loaded and if we pass any item inside this array suppose we pass the url then whenever this url update uh, this use effect run and our application render again now inside this use effect we call the one function pokefun let's create a pokefun function const pokefun async parenthesis arrow function inside this pokefun function first we call the set loading and make the loading true 
then we make the api request using the axios.get await axios.get inside the parenthesis we pass the url and then uh, we check the response on a console console.log response then right click on inspect then go to a console now we have the one object which contain the data uh, so let's print the data now here we have the only data count next previous and result now let's print the result only so copy this result and paste it here now we have the result which is actually array which contain the 20 items it's arrow of object now let's comment this and here we have the next and previous next loaded the next 20 pokemons and previous loaded the previous 20 pokemons so now here we store the our next url so create const next url function set next url equal to use state const for previous url set previous url function equal to use state now we call the set next url function and set the next url response dot data dot next then set the previous url also response dot data dot previous then we call the one function get pokemon and we passes the array result array here you can see which contain the 20 items now uh, we may call the set loading function and make the loading false now we create a get pokemon method async parenthesis arrow function inside this function here we basically passes the array so result dot math item uh, let's check the item dot url on console so console dot log here you can see we get a 20 pokemon's url let's remove this and make a api request using axios passes the item dot url inside the gate parenthesis then check the result on console now here we get the data let's check the data result dot data now here you can see here we have an object which contain the pokemon information its ability height weight now we store all this object in one array so we call the set pokedata function inside this function uh, we create a new array first we store the all the elements of existing array and then we add the new item in the array result.data and return state basically this uh, this work like a push function in array now check the content of pocket data on console so console.log pocket data here you can see we got the 20 arrays which store the objects now let's comment this line and 
remove this extra card inside the card component we pass the props pokey data also pass the loading to check if it is a true or false inside the braces pokemon loading check a pokemon on console now here you can see we got the data from card component its array which contain the 20 objects now add braces check the loading is true or false if the loading is true then means that uh, data is not fetched yet so we show the data is still loading in the h1 tag if data is successfully loaded then it return the false then we, we can show our pokemons so pokemon dot map inside this arrow function we return let's copy this and paste it here now here we have a id let's copy this id and paste it here item dot id then for image here inside this sprite we have the front default let's copy this sprite in src item dot then copy this front default save it now here we got a different pokemon images and for a pokemon name we have the name attribute item dot name now here you can see 20 pokemons are loaded here but uh, it's not in a sorted order if you check on console now uh, in array here at index 0 we have a id 10 at index 1 we have a id 11 this id is not in sorted order so first we sort the array based on a pokemon id called the sort function if a dot id is uh, greater than b dot id then we return 1 else we return minus 1 after we sort the array we return our array return state now here you can see the pokemon loaded in a sorted order 1 to 20 cards next we want when user click on any particular pokemon card it information display at the right hand side for that using small trick we pass the data from our card component to our uh, main component in first in this card component we pass the one function info pokemon pokey uh, here we use the use state pokedex set pokedex function equal to use state call this set pokedex function and set the value now inside this card component add a info pokemon then uh, inside this card first we add a key to uniquely identify item dot id and then uh, when we click so uh, on click function we call the info pokemon function and passes the item here passes the item which we click 
pokey contain the data which we pass in info pokemon function in card component then we set the data using the set pokedex function now in pokey info component we pass the probes pokedex inside a pokey info component object destructuring data if we check the data on console here when we click on any particular card we get the one object which contain the all the pokemon information its ability height weight now uh, inside this spoke info component uh, this component contain the information about pokemon first we check that data is empty or not if it is empty then we return the empty string and if it is not then we return the pokemon information let's copy this and paste it here inside a h1 tag pokemon name data dot name now this uh, for this image url here you can see inside the other we have the uh, dream world and uh, we have the front default this url is same for all the pokemons just uh, differences last part there is a different id for each pokemon so we just change this last part of the url put this src in braces here we replace the id with a data dot id now if you check the output here you can see if i click on any pokemon card its image display at the right hand side now here is problem image is weak let's go to the style dot css and uh, add a height 190 pixel 180 pixel here you can see it looks nice now for abilities abilities uh, is actually here you can see it is array which contain the two items and inside this abilities array we have the ability object which contain the name so data dot abilities dot map let's copy this and paste it here remove this add a pokey dot ability dot name now here you can see abilities are changed according to the pokemon now for the base state here we have the array which contain the six items at zero index we have the hp 39 remove this and data dot state dot map arrow function return inside the h3 tag pokey dot here you can see here we have this uh, inside the state array we have the state object so state dot name 
एंड पोकी डॉट बेस्टेड समथिंग इज रॉन्ग हियर हियर यस इज मिसिंग नाउ इफ यू चेक इट्स वर्किंग नाउ हियर यू कैन सी ट्वेंटी पोकीमोन्स आर लोडेड एंड इफ आई क्लिक ऑन एनी पोकीमोन कार्ड इट इन्फॉर्मेशन डिस्प्ले ऑल एबिलिटीज एच पी अटैक now what we want next when we click on this next button then next 20 pokemons will be display so inside this main component in button tag on click here we update our url so our application render again for a previous button uh, we passes the previous url call the set url function and pass the previous url here now same thing we do for the on next button on click say to url pass the next url now let's check the output Uh, let me refresh first now here you can see if now if i click on this next button then pokemon start loading now next 20 pokemon start loaded here you can see now we have the 40 again if i click on the next button then again next pokemon will be loaded now here we have the 60 pokemon uh it uh, added with the previous pokemons then now we have the total 60 pokemons but we want to show only the current pokemons this is happening because uh, this line here we first store all the pokemons and then we add a new pokemons in the array basically we store the both old and new pokemons so first uh, we here first before the set url we call the set poke data and pass the empty array same we do for the next first we call the set poke data and pass the empty array now refresh the page now if i click on the next button then it shows only the current 20 pokemons 21 to 40 if i click on the previous button then it shows the previous 20 pokemons 1 to 20 here it shows the previous pokemons If I click on the next, then next twenty Pokemons are shown. Now again next, next twenty forty one to sixty Pokemons are display here. Uh, if I may refresh the page, and now here you can see the previous button is still visible. Even there is a uh, no previous data available. For that here we first check previous data available or not. So. a uh, previous url and here we check the previous data available if it is not then it return the false and according to the and properties if first section is false then it will not uh, check for the second part so button will be not visible save it and now here here we can see now previous button is not available same thing we do for the next uh check if this next url contain data or not refresh the page now if i click on any pokemon card it display the information about pokemon abilities hp attack and if i click on the next button then next 20 pokemon are loaded Here we have done with our Pokemon React app. If you like this video, then don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.